In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create subtitles like this that Mr. Beast uses in his videos. We are going to use Premiere Pro for this purpose, so let's get right into it. So first of all, we'll open our video in a new sequence. Then we are going to go in the captions and graphics tab. Then on the left hand side here, we're going to click on the text option. From here, you will go to the captions tab. Here you will see the option to create a transcription for your videos. If you are not able to find this tab, what you're gonna do is you'll go to windows and then from here you will click the text option. Now the first thing to do is click on this create transcription. What this will do is it will transcribe your entire audio and convert it into text. Here select English speaker labeling since there is only one speaker in the video we'll keep it at no audio and track so since there is no audio i've muted the audio it's not working so we're gonna unmute this and then click on create transcription again now we're going to choose the same options no audio on track mix you can select the particular layer on which the audio is as well so since here is only one layer of audio it doesn't matter whatever we choose so we'll go with mix and then click on transcribe once the transcription is created, make sure that everything is correct here. There might be some grammatical mistakes so you have to fix it and you should be good. Now we are going to click on this option that says create captions and from here let's select this as subtitle default. We don't need to change it and from the drop down menu of preferences we can select this format as subtitle is good style we don't have any style as of now because we haven't created anything so it will be none from this option the maximum length in characters i like to have it as a very small number because we don't want the screen to be filled with a lot of text so let's keep it around 15 minimum duration in seconds let's keep it to a lower number as well around 1.5 1.6 should be good and gap between captions uh, let's keep it zero because we want the caption to be there all the time and here from the lines option let's go with a single line because mr beast uses only a single line in his caption so we don't need to go with a double one let's use a single line and hit on create captions as you can see now the text has been added but it doesn't look that good so we are going to stylize it now here on the right hand side you will see the essential graphics panel so first of all you're gonna select all this caption layer and change the font from here you can choose anything you like i'm going to go with the bold font and uh, i'm gonna increase the size a little bit from this fill option you can change the font color as you like let's keep it white for now and down here if you tick this it will have a stroke but since you want to make it pop out a bit more we'll have to add the contrasting color let's go with black also you can increase the size of the stroke if you want let's keep it around five we can also add some shadow by clicking here uh, maybe decrease the opacity a little bit play with these options to get the look that you want and yeah you should be good so let's play it back and see how it looks in this video i'm gonna show you how you can create subtitles like this that mr beast uses in his videos so you can see that sometimes it has some problems with arranging the words here you can see that the mr and beast are on different sections so we're going to add them together you can do it from here on the left hand side let's keep it together need this one let's delete it and increase the length of this this looks pretty good as it is but we can take it up a notch and make them even better so for that we'll select all the subtitle layer and then from the graphics and title option we'll we'll select upgrade caption to graphic now you can see that the subtitle layer has been changed into a graphic layer so now with this you can do a lot of things you can add transitions you can add animations all the stuff that you can generally do with any video or images if you look at mr beast videos you will find that the editors generally use the zoom in and zoom out animation in the text so we're going to do the same here so for that let's go to the effects tab 
search for transform apply to the first graphic before we start the animation we need to make sure that the anchor points are in the proper position so to fix that we'll go to transform now you can see that the anchor point is in the center so if we try to animate the text will be coming from here so it won't look good so we need to fix this so for that we'll select the anchor points and keep them in the right place something like this now you can see that if you zoom in and zoom out it's coming from the right place now that the anchor point is fixed we can start the animation so for that we'll go here in the scale of the transform effect we'll go to the scale and hit the toggle animation which will create a keyframe now you will go maybe four or five frames forward and hit this button to add another keyframe you'll go to the first keyframe and decrease the scale to zero so with this you can see that the scale up animation is happening smoothly to make it more smoother you can select the second keyframe right click on it and select ease in also make sure that you uncheck this use composition shutter angle and place the shutter angle to a higher number i like to go with the maximum that is 360 it creates a smooth motion blur whenever it's zooming in now in order to add this animation to all the other captions you can just click on transform ctrl and c to copy select all the other captions and paste them now if you watch this pack you can see that all the animation has been added to the captions so this is how you can add animated captions to your videos pretty much instantly this is not the only animation that you can do you can do a lot of other stuff as well it just depends on how much you use your creativity so i hope this video was helpful subscribe for more editing tutorials like this